Are these rules common sense, or have we all collectively forgotten the point of a drive through Buckle up, here's how you're really supposed to behave in a drive through Generally speaking, the purpose of a drive through lane is to provide diners with a quick meal on the go, but this can't occur without customer cooperation. So being prompt with your order when your turn arrives is crucial. In other words, try and decide what you're going to order before pulling up to the speaker to help keep the line moving. Why is it when you're in a hurry? Now is that made fresh? What do you put on that? Is it low-cap? The person in front of you is… Obviously, there are going to be situations where this is out of your control. If there's a slight curve in the drive through lane, or a poorly landscaped bush blocking the menu, taking a few moments to review the menu and decide your order is perfectly fair. Then again, if you're completely clueless about what you're looking to purchase when it's your turn to order, the best course of action may be to skip the drive through and head inside instead. As one Reddit user wrote in a discussion of drive through wait times, I'd expand this to every drive through of every kind. Very annoying. Same with the people ordering food for 50 people in the drive through If your order takes more than two to three minutes, you need to go inside. Fast food workers don't get paid enough to deal with customers yelling at them. Even if unloading your frustrations feels justified, it's never necessary to yell or scream at a drive through employee. So if you routinely find yourself raising your voice at the drive through maybe it's time to stop. Look at it this way. Would you want someone screaming in your face while working at a most likely minimum wage job? Of course not. No one deserves to be yelled at, regardless of their occupation. It's just basic civility. And even if you're not angry, try not to yell at the speaker when ordering in general. The employees inside can hear you just fine. I want two tacos, supreme, soft, and one original. Depending on the time of day, you may encounter a drive through lane that's completely empty, in which case feel free to take your time as needed. Of course, you're just as likely to pull up to a line that's at least 10 cars deep, with a seemingly endless wait time ahead of you. Given the potential disparity in customers then, it's imperative you remain aware of the environment when you pull into a drive through and are always ready to move forward as the line inches along. Look, no one enjoys being held up in line longer than necessary, particularly those drive through lines that seem endless. So for your and your fellow customers' sake, be sure you're always ready to go with the flow. According to a 2021 C-Level HX study, the average time a person spent in a drive through line increased by 25 seconds in 2021 compared to 2020. That's 25 whole seconds you could be spending doing something else like playing board games with your family or watching five more TikTok videos alone. So what gives? Well, placing the blame solely on a restaurant or its staff isn't entirely fair. Customers often share the blame, and one thing that holds up the line is trying to use multiple forms of payment for a single drive through order. Now, like several other drive through habits you should and shouldn't do, there may be times when using more than one payment is relatively acceptable. Clearly, if you find yourself in a largely empty drive through line and aren't unnecessarily delaying anyone in the process by using multiple payments, knock yourself out by using a few debit cards. But if you're in a line that seems likely to push past five minutes from start to finish, don't cause any additional headaches for your fellow customers or the restaurant staff. Of all the drive through habits you should adopt, ensuring you always double check your bag before driving away may be the most crucial, at least for customers. After all, few moments in life are more heartrending than arriving home after a trip to the drive through only to find you're missing all your nuggets or something. It's okay, it happens. The fast food industry is inherently a fast-paced, high-pressure environment. Gina, breakfast time is a busy time here at Wendy's, isn't it? It has become very busy, yep. As hard as everyone is working back in the kitchen, there's certainly a chance that your order may have been mistakenly packed, or an item innocently forgotten. Everyone makes mistakes. 
though according to a 2022 MASHED survey, no chain makes more drive through mistakes than McDonald's. But regardless of the drive through location, it's perfectly reasonable to take a quick inventory of your bag before pulling away. That way, if everything isn't precise, you can amend the issue right then and there rather than risk delayed animosity by discovering the problem later on. One drive through habit that makes employees' lives infinitely more difficult is adding items after you've already ordered and pulled up to the window. Frankly, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand why. A restaurant staff prepares your food before you pull up to the final window. That's why it's ready for you when you get there. Last-second additions tend to end up at the bottom of the kitchen crew's order queue as a result, according to a McDonald's employee on Quora. In other words, requesting additional items at the window will likely lead to unnecessary delays for you, along with everyone else in line. Raise your hand if you've ever received fries and a fast food meal from the drive-thru, but didn't eat a single one before reaching your final destination. Now put those hands down, you goofy liars. No one can reasonably resist the heavenly scent of fresh-cooked french fries, wafting through your car's interior like the secret fart of a potato angel. Thankfully, there is no reason to deny that urge. Enjoying the freshest fry possible isn't the only reason you should refrain from sealing your fries inside the bag, though. The head of innovation for potato processors, Lamb Weston, told Marketplace in 2019 why keeping the bag closed is a terrible idea. You're sealing them in like a sauna, and they just get soggy really quickly. It's like the worst case scenario for a french fry. There are certain rules we all need to abide by to avoid the complete collapse of civilized society, and chief among them is don't knock on a closed pickup window when waiting for your order. Hello? 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 Yes? I really hate that man. Quite frankly, if a drive through window is closed, the message is clear. The staff is busy elsewhere, most likely prepping your order. The hectic reality of the industry calls for kindness and compassion from customers, especially when it's particularly busy. No matter your intention, then, give a restaurant staff the benefit of the doubt when the window's closed and simply wait your turn. Additionally, a drive through window may be shut and unattended because a restaurant is actually closed. Hopefully, you didn't recite your entire order to a silent speaker, reading, from an unlit menu and then wait for a while beside a locked dark window before you came to that conclusion. But hey, it's happened. As one fast food employee wrote on Reddit, we shifted our hours which are clearly posted everywhere around the store. So we were opening for a Sunday shift and this dude in a Tesla kept knocking on the drive through window and honking over and over. It's not easy working at a fast food chain, so anytime we can avoid making a fast food worker's job more difficult than necessary is worth considering. In that sense, if you're in a car with a bunch of people who are all making their own orders, don't ask each person to shout their orders at the speaker. Rather, have a single person, ideally the driver, place the order for the entire car. Okay, Schweppes then, Schweppes. Okay, just a Schweppes then. Did you say Schweppes? Schweppes? Schweppes. Yeah, Schweppes. This is especially true with parents and young children, as one fast food worker wrote on Reddit in 2013. To be sure, teaching a child to be self-sufficient and individually confident by placing their own order is a commendable goal, but there is a time and place for everything. If the drive through line is overflowing from the parking lot, maybe skip Junior's life lesson and place the order yourself. Does anyone out there need us to dive deeply into the reasons why you shouldn't talk on the phone while ordering at a drive through or when interacting with the staff? Probably not. Frankly, obnoxious cell phone users exist everywhere, and the drive through is no exception. Let's hang up on your mother. We don't need to speak to her. <gasps> Thank you. Would you want a drive through employee chit-chatting with a coworker or another customer when you're ordering or picking up your food? Of course not. No one wants to feel ignored or marginalized, especially considering how little effort it takes to at least appear to be completely engaged for a minute or two. We're all humans, after all, not animals. 
If you're on the phone with someone you absolutely positively cannot stop speaking with, then a drive through trip can clearly wait. In fact, if you're speaking on the phone about something important, it might serve you well to avoid that convo in front of drive through workers entirely. After all, as numerous comments noted on a 2019 Reddit thread, drive through workers can hear everything you say, even if that includes private information. When it rains, it pours. Of course, any fast food worker who's worked in the rain knows this all too well, particularly after encountering a customer who keeps their windshield wipers running while sitting at the pickup window. In fact, if you weren't aware that windshield wipers can toss water from your car into an open drive through window, well, you are now. So to avoid being an inconsiderate jackanape who douses a drive through crew in rain, you should turn off your wipers before reaching the pickup window. But it's not simply the people working the drive through that'll end up wet. A 2021 Reddit thread noted that your windshield wipers can fling water all over the store. This can then lead to lost time cleaning floors and equipment, which in turn slows service for customers, exacerbating a wholly avoidable problem. If you've ever been in dire need of a late night fast food meal after the dining room was closed, yet didn't have a vehicle to use in the drive through, you know firsthand you can't simply walk through a drive through line and expect to be served. After all, the potential safety issues surrounding a customer walking through a drive through lane, one designed for moving vehicles, means pedestrians are destined to come up empty at the drive through. As one Redditor explained, it would be a liability to have pedestrians in a lane built for cars to travel through. If they allowed people to do it, they would be responsible when someone got run over. Of course, even if you weren't aware of the underlying safety concerns and causes restricting a walking customer from using a restaurant's drive through it's not a tough nut to crack. It's all in the name, and if a potential patron is incapable of, well, driving through the drive through they shouldn't be shocked to be refused service. You might be able to bend the rules on a horse, but that might still stir up trouble. 